Hi, I'm Astonishing John, professional magician here from San Diego, California, doing fun tricks with magic. Hey, how would you like to learn a really fun and great magic trick? Great, I've got it right here for you. Let me show you what it is. It's called the coin through table trick. All I need is one coin, we'll take this one, and a salt shaker, and I put the salt shaker on top because in magic, you don't want everybody to know the magic moment exactly, so we put that on top. And now, to make this magic even easier to do, I'm gonna make it in a little bit more of a private situation here. I take the napkin, wrap it around like this once. Okay, here comes the second napkin. Mm -hmm. And that's two. That should work. What I'm going to do now is to make the coin, on the count of three, go through the table. Okay, there's the coin. I'm going to cover it up. One, two, three. Did it, no, it didn't, it didn't quite go through. Okay, we're going to add one more napkin here. I think that's what I really needed. One additional napkin. All right, that, that should do it. Let's see, is that going to do it? Yeah, we're going to do it this time. On the count of three. One, two, three. Did it go? No, it didn't. Oh, the salt shaker went through the table. I'm sorry, but would you like to learn how to do that? All right, stay tuned. We're going to show you right now. It's very simple and very deceptive. Okay, you start off with a coin, a borrowed coin, your own, it doesn't matter. This is a great effect to do at a restaurant right at the table that you're sitting at because then when you do this, this salt shaker will fall on your lap. I'm standing behind a table, so I have to reach a little bit further. This is how it's done. You take the quarter, put it there. You're going to make it go right through the table. Solid table, that's going to be tough. So I'm going to put this salt shaker on top and add one two paper napkins. And, th and this is what you do. You add the two paper napkins and then you try to make it happen. When it doesn't happen with the two paper napkins in the magical gesture, you take a look. Now it's not going down. You go for a third napkin. Now the third napkin is to make them think, well, I don't know what exactly, but it gives you misdirection. And you know, and you can see this is the salt shaker is really still there because I bent this around nice and good. Okay, let's see, is it still there? Yes, it's gonna work. And then I'm gonna put this on top. And on a count of three, I'm gonna make it go. It's already gone. What I did is a moment ago, when I went to the back of the table, I released the salt shaker onto my lap. It's actually gone. So when I put it back here, I put it very carefully back. I do my count to three, one, two, three, it's gone. Oh, the coin's still there, but the salt shaker went through the table. That's still a pretty good effect, and I think most people will find it surprising, and you actually may vanish the larger item which is gonna be a whole lot more magical for people watching. And don't be surprised if you don't hear oohs and ahs because it is very impressive. Okay, I'm Astonishing John. Let me tell you what's up next. That is the Forever Connected Paper. Let me show you that, that's a lot of fun and you can do it at a moment's notice.